Hey guys, Sam here from Samsense, and today I'm going to talk to you about a new release from Parfums Vintage. So let's get into it. Call it how it is. Hendrix. I promise. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Summer Bottled Intense. It this was launched this summer, so like a couple months ago. Um, the perfumer behind it is Damien Stammers, as usual. Its concentration is an EDP, so an Eau de Parfum. Uh, the bottle comes in a 50ml bottle or a 100ml bottle, and it runs for 89 for the 50 or 144 for the 100ml. Those are American prices. It could be that in other countries they're priced a little different, though it seems like they don't really sell anywhere else, so I'm guessing those are the main prices. Anyway, whatever. Let's get into it. Okay, so notes on this one are, at the top we got bergamot, cardamom, black pepper, and juniper berries. In the mid we have nutmeg, thyme, peony, and gin. And in the base we have tonka bean absolute and musk. And what's this fragrance smell like? So here I got a tester. Um, I've been uh, <clears throat> every couple months I go through and order uh, six fragrances from them that look interesting to me and test them. Uh, so this is one of the fragrances I got in my last uh, shipment from them. Of, uh, six samples and let's get into it. Okay, so let's get some sprays on. Uh, and this is supposed to be a clone of, uh, I think it's called Le Humanists by Frappen or something like that, or I mean, turned around, whatever, something like that. Uh, right off the bat, this is pretty unique. I can't say so far in my adventures through the world of fragrance have come across something else that smells quite like this. Um, so there's that, pretty unique. I also only went with the uh, Intense. I don't really see a point in going with both, because generally they're only slightly different, meaning uh, the Intense and the non-Intense. Uh, so I just went with the Intense. But let's get into it. Okay, so right off the top, you're getting a lot of bergamot. Um, uh, the cardamom is pretty noticeable also. Uh, those two are playing big roles. And then... Black pepper's there. Uh, not as strong as the other two, but it's there. And juniper berries in the background. It doesn't really uh, shine its face too much. So... Main players are bergamot and cardamom. The other two kind of sit in the background. Um, right away, also you can kind of pick up on the uh, the nutmeg, and I'd say the rest of the the mid kind of blends in very nicely. And then here I got the dry gum. <sighs> Sorry, I kind of zacked my nose on work. So in the base, uh, the tonka bean really comes out, and it's more <clears throat> it's more tonka y than uh, musky. There's a definite kind of a vanillic sort of aroma coming off the dry down. Um, yeah, it kind of reminded me a little. I know the the um, the note breakdown of this and. Uh, what is it? Uh, straight to Heaven or sun uh, Sunset in Heaven, which is the Baccarat Rouge clone. Um, I know the breakdowns are very different, but there are some similar nuances, I'd say, between uh, Summer Bottled Intense and the Sunset in Heaven, but it's more in the dry down and it's kind of that sweet, sort of vanilla kind of uh, scent that you get off it. I know I kind of skipped over the mid. Um, because it doesn't really shine much in this fragrance. And personally, to me, 
I get very little to no protection off this. I mean, I spray it on my arm and uh, within within 20-30 minutes, it's it's literally a skin scent. Um, and then within like four hours, I can barely smell it on my arm. And I, it's not like I just sprayed, sprayed one spray from this. You know, I give in a good couple sprays and it's, it's very light. Uh, which is a little disappointing, you know, it's not exactly a cheap scent. So, uh, to me, this is definitely way more of a skin scent. Again, almost no projection on my skin. And it disappears pretty quickly. So you get like four hours out of it. But, on the other side, it is a nice scent. It's pretty interesting. Again, it's pretty unique. I haven't come across something like this before. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'd say take those the, those stats and decide whether it's something you think is worth buying or not. So those are my two cents on uh, Summer Bottled Intense by Parfums Vintage. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, like this video. It helps me greatly. Subscribe if you enjoy the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.